tell us why are we talking about this story today and what kind of harm do microplastics do to our body um you know when we see plastic on our streets in our rivers on our beaches we see a tangible problem unfortunately as you rightly said we are unaware of how much plastic we are ingesting uh when they did autopsies on human brains they actually found about half a percent of an average human cadaver half a percent of the brain was made up of plastic now in a full blown dementia case 2 and a half percent of the human brain volume was filled with plastic 2 and a half percent let that sink into everyone here we are bothered about are we having organic fruits and vegetables how much sugar are we consuming are we having enough protein versus carbs what about some of the basic simple things about ensuring that we don't take in unnecessary amount of plastic orally right we cannot immediately start uh, you know getting our water bodies plastic free that requires government regulation that requires huge investments but ingesting plastic from water bottles from plastic food containers those are easily avoidable the second and most con- you know concerning part which we found that in your arteries when you have plaque arterial plaque almost 21 mg per gram of plaque is now made up of plastic so it's finding its way into your heart into your brain it's becoming part of your brain tissue mm. on an average globally there's research now that there is perhaps about 8 mg of plastic in your blood circulation at any given point in time that is the amount of plastic we are ingesting through water bottles and through plastic containers 